Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about satellite cells in our skeletal muscle tissue. So satellite cells are muscle stem cells that serve as muscle cell precursors. Uh, so these are little stem cells essentially that are located in the periphery of our muscle fibers throughout our skeletal muscles. So they're really important because they are critical to the muscle fiber repair and remodeling process. Um, so anytime we have injury to our muscle fibers, including exercise induced damage, um, or they're also stimulated by chronic stretch, significant uh, hypertrophy, and injection of local anesthetics. So there are all sorts of things that activate our satellite cells so that those satellite cells can proliferate and begin the process of repairing our muscle fibers and remodeling them so that they are like new again. Um, so how do they work? Um, they first are activated by one of those stimuli that I just listed. Um, once they're activated, then they proliferate. So they make more of themselves and they differentiate. So they become more specific. They differentiate into myoblasts, which are the precursors of myocytes, which are muscle cells. Um, so they're activated, they proliferate, they differentiate and become myoblasts. Uh, so those myoblasts then either fuse together and create whole new muscle fibers, or sometimes they fuse to existing fibers to help them repair and recover. Um, so they will fuse, their cell membranes will fuse with the existing uh, fibers cell membranes so that essentially their cellular contents are added to the cellular contents of the existing muscle fibers. So that gives them their cellular nuclei, mitochondria, um, all the other organelles within that fiber, and it helps the existing damaged fiber to repair and recover more quickly. Um, so it can happen in either direction. They can just create whole new fibers as needed to replace old ones, or they can fuse to help repair uh, the previous, the existing fibers that have been damaged. Uh, in some cases, the um, satellite cells might become activated, but then if they aren't needed or there's more than enough or the damage isn't too severe, then instead of proliferating, then instead they might go back to sort of quiet mode. Um, and so they go back on standby in case they are needed and then they will, they could be activated again in the future. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.